I won't say it's a whitewash. I'll say like, as a black man, sometimes they look at you like your money ain't good. You feel me? Like the white man's paying way more than you. The white man is more serious with his money. So like sometimes you just no, get like that true. cold shoulder vibe. Like yeah, I've he, never experienced that. He ain't lying, bro. You ain't lying. I don't know why I ain't been acknowledge it from that point because i've been in asia long enough to hear the conversations with the women bro the women to tell you this shit too once they get mad comfortable around you they tell you what they was brought up to learn about black people in their provinces bro like i've had east Side women tell me that i was seeing like man we seen movies about the the black man and they call you nigga in the nigger in the movies and the white guys who used to date our parents used to say that y'all was only good for getting women pregnant and leaving. So it's definitely things implanted about us. And then systematically, there are the ones who, who take mental notes and go, oh, the black man don't want to buy no beers here. He don't want to spend he don't want to spend as much money as the white man. He he just want to he'd want to play around with us. Like, yeah, there's been mental there's been conversations like that held between the people here and then they will give off that energy so if it's that it's probably that and that's in the philippines too real talk so that you know that was that was actually valid bro nah for real though like i felt it in angeles city the most that's when i was like nigga i gotta get the fuck out of here because it was like bro they they literally is like they didn't even want you to serve you and shit because it's like bro the white man, his money's the only good money here, type shit vibes. Now, they like in Phuket, it's different. Like, it's the Arab money and the white money, which is the most valuable. Still not black money. Because it's like, they got so much money to where it's like, there's no, like, they just feel it's security, bro. They want security here. They got it. You feel me? Like, black man's money is more newer. We're a little more selfish with our money. We're a little more onto game. So they can't really run game on us. That's what niggas got to realize, bro. Like, they can't just put on the act around us like they can do for the white man and just get paid and get a house. Five minutes, minutes. So, yeah. That's true. We, we we actually prefer the authenticity when it comes to people. But the white man, he 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 wants yeah. to know that he can pay to be comfortable. Yes. And they got so used to the activity of that when they get around people who's not on that type of time, they like, oh, he's he's difficult customer. I'm just trying to get my bills. Like and they remind me like, of local just, time man, bro. I realized that recently, like they, we remind them of the local men who are just too, like, straight up and no game. The white man, he don't know game when it comes to Asian women. He just thinks, okay, she's sweet, she shuts up, she does what I say, and I just pay. You see what I mean? For us, it's like... It's not really like that we look up to you as a man... Your money type vibe. Don't get me wrong. They'll hook up with you. They'll have fun with you and shit. But they know for long-term stability and, like... Yeah, they not taking you seriously. Yeah, like... A lot of them out here ain't looking for love, bro. If they love... If it was looking for love, they'd date local men. That's who they're really attracted to. That's what their father looks like. They want stability and to retire and live in a man's home and you feel me pay for their family's expenses and shit it's a different game that black men ain't that doing that bro let's be honest we ain't, are you trying to do that are you trying let's be honest yeah, are y'all yeah. trying to take care of a girl a woman and her family and make sure she's good for the rest of her life you want to go for a school Damn, boy. White off, man is off, willing to do that. Off rip, off rip. I'm going I'm to say 
we always we always are hesitant to even say yes on that because it sounds like it's a scam. But let me put it like this: <laughs> if I if I when and if I see a woman, I'm not even gonna say about Asian. If there's a woman that I believe in and my love for her, I just want to see you win. I'm willing. I'm willing to invest as far as as far as in the deep as that um that love for you is. So real in reality, bro. If my bag is right, let's we we're not talking about we're not talking about me um being a uh, a YouTuber making budget travel content. We talking about some. I got a plan. I got a plan that's already being fulfilled. I got the passive that's flowing in. I got the big, I got, I got the foreign man money really rolling in to where it's like, I can show love with dollars. And I know that you the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with, or that I want to, I want to see you do well in life and your family. Like, I feel like naturally, man, we want to provide for our families and for our women, bro. It's just the idea of it being so transactional that disgusts us, bro. But if it's not about that, if it's not about that, and then you feel me, we we lean into, okay, how can we build generational wealth for my family and your family, and I rock with you, and I see a future with you, and I am investing into you, like you're about to have my seed, I'm making sure y'all will, because I'm making sure I'm well, I'm making sure my mama for sure is hell well. I'm making sure the family will because I want to fill that role, even if we in America, Cambodia, any of that. But if I'm not there yet, and these are the things that you won't off rip and you're not even interested in the love, you rather you rather find that security first before you find love, you miss me. Because it's like, ah, uh, yeah, it just ain't my speed, sweetheart. It's never going to be love, bro. That's what people got to understand about this culture bro it's never love it's it's like a job bro like people underestimate how transactional the relationships are out here like these women are literally getting a weekly salary from these guys but that's because they got it like that that's what they want that's the white man's dream that's not a black man's dream let's be real that was never our dream to come to Asia and take care of fucking random people. We don't know. <laughs> like, hey, and they will be like, oh, white cool. man. That's why they will leave it all. Yeah, yeah, bro. And they're giving them the will, all type of shit. I know some ladies out here who playing that game right now. They it's, it's like a 10-year work contract, you know, 10-year work program. You get married, they get they get on these websites where they meet, bro. The I don't get it, bro. The men, some of them is black men too. The these rich men get on these websites so that they can have immediate access to to what they consider baddies. They they get online, they pay to send them messages. They finally get the pay to fly to meet the women. And then, boom, within a week, they either have profile girlfriend or getting engaged and moving to Australia. Within five to ten years of that work contract, a.k.a. that relationship, if she got a baby, she probably going to get gone. She probably going to get gone. Or when she tired and she's, and she's done enough years with you to where she can ask for half, it's over. Then she's flying back to her country and she's getting with a Filipino man or she's getting with the man that she really wants. And I know women who have successfully done this and they under th the age of 35 to where it's like, OK, now I can actually and now I can actually just be uh, a lover girl for the guy that I want because I'm set for life. Yeah, like so really we just don't here. want to be that guy. We don't want to be the dude who's setting them up for life for somebody yeah. else. We don't for mind real. when she come into the picture and she wanna she wanna fly us out of town and she wanna show us love. We don't mind that shit. We just ain't trying to be the sucker who set who who paying for the whole program. But their family tells them to do that, bro. Like they're 16, 17, 18, bro. They, they, their parents are telling them, yo, go to fucking Pattaya, go to Manila, and go find you an old white man who worships your beauty and your body and just wants to uh, pay for the family and shit. 
so that's the culture. Like they're not telling him, yo, go find a black nigga with a big dick and get <laughs> fucked for 30 years and not bring nothing home. <laughs> Let's be real, bro. Yeah, that it's sounds different. I ain't gonna lie, that sounds like a dummy. If I was in Asia, dummy, I, my, my daughter, I, I would be like, hey. What's going on? I heard about you in Manila. Bring your ass down. Bring your ass back home. Going outside. For real. But that's the third world country. We're not blows black. We're not used to the third world. Like that's what um, traditional women are. Traditional women don't just do shit for you for no reason, bro. They're not just cooking clean for you and shut the hell up for no reason. They're in it for something. Whether you think that's wrong or not, whether you think you should deserve love, not everybody views it like that, bro. Love ain't really something niggas is searching for or women are searching for. People trying to change their lives. A lot of these old white guys, they didn't already been in love. They didn't already been married, divorced. Maybe their wife died. They just want something cute and nice around them before they die. Mm -hmm. It's unpleasant. We don't view it like that. We think we need a bad Asian bitch on our arm and right off into the sun. Hell yeah, I dig it. Hell yeah, that's exactly how I see it. They family starving, bro. Yeah. I put it like this. If not if, because I know my bag about to get long. Stupid. Stupid. If I'm me. if I'm single and my bag is long and I find somebody that I that I that I that I want to be transactional with. Or that we have, or that we we gotta, we got, we got something understood. I'll probably have a budget for tricking, cause my budget for tricking on you would be the budget for tricking on you for tricking on your family. For instance, I got a homie out here. He he about to marry a Filipina. You know, he he'll do anything for her. They eat luxury meals all the time. You know, whatever she need, he's on it. But she she can't hit him up saying, "Hey, my family back home need this." He hit her with, "I don't give a damn. That that ain't that ain't that ain't our family. That's my family is me, you, and the baby we might have." Like he's very much like that. But he told her, "Check this out. Because we about to be married, I'm gonna invest in you. I'm gonna help you get everything that you need so that you can be making your money and you can be paying off your family." You could be getting a military check, do your four years in America, get a military check, and you can pay off for your family, da-da-da-da. You feel me? You can go get a job if you like, or you can sit and you can clean the dishes at home. You really going to do both, though. But you can you can, you can can be an at-home wife and enjoy the lifestyle with me, or you can be a go-getter and go get it for your family, and I still ride for us and take care of us. The cir- the way he got it set up like that, it's like, damn. It's like, damn. Okay, that's just his cards, though. 